Welcome back. Okay, guys, who up here has played video games? I know you both can raise your hand. Apparently, Julian, he said he's going to beat me in every game <laughs> imaginable. Know. You can ask Jenna Rastusha what I did to him in 2K, yeah. I mean, last year. We've all played video <laughs> games, and we know <laughs> video games can be good and be bad. When you're around your friends, if you play too little, you can be the weakest link. That's true. If you play too much, you're inside for a long time. Uh, but one Salisbury native <laughs> is making good with his guilty pleasure for more than a decade since his start. Take a look. What if I told you? that there was a current professional basketball player right here from the Eastern Shore. So I started playing basketball in about fifth grade at Glen Avenue. It was, I think, nothing but net, the nothing but net program. And then I started playing in middle school. I started playing AAU at the Salvation Army. I played until about 10th grade. Devin Peak is a 21-year-old pro on the court. <laughs> but it's not exactly what you think. <laughs> Known in online gaming circles as Arsenal, Peak doubles as a 6'11 center for the Atlanta Hawks online gaming team, Hawks Talent Gaming Club. Ten years from now, I see it being pretty much the biggest eSport around. Devin says he started over ten years ago as any normal boy would do, playing video games in the comfort of his own room. I played like Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that, like when I was little, like growing up, but 2K wise, playing online, it was definitely like when I was like 12 or 13 in like seventh grade. After running with some pretty popular gaming circles, Peak sought to go full time into it, something that his family was initially skeptical of. Video games has been his thing, and I thought he was just wasting his life away. I said, Devin, uh -uh, this, this sounds like a scam to me. In 2017, Devin was selected with the 33rd overall pick in the inaugural NBA 2K League draft by the Boston Celtics crossover gaming company. He came down the day that they called him, he came downstairs crying. And I said, Devin, what's the matter? My mom, I made it. I made it. I said, you made what? He said, the NBA. After fulfilling his contract in Boston, Arsenal was selected in the 2018 expansion draft by the newly founded Talons. I see this getting bigger and bigger every year. Last year, it was the first year and they started with 17 out of the 30 NBA teams. This year they expanded to 21 out of the 30 teams. They're trying to get us to 30, all 30 teams. Being an eSports pro is just like the real thing. Team members sign professional contracts, practice, scrimmage, and play full time. Every day we wake up at about 9.30. Our practice started at 10. Sometimes we play one team the entire day for eight hours straight. Sometimes we switch it up. And then we have like an hour and a half, two hours of film study. The same thing you would do like actual NBA. Peak's grandmother thinks the development of esports puts a long standing stigma that too many video games is too much to bed. It's a career. It's just something different and it's hard to understand, but it's real. As for Devin, he'll continue his career and see where it lands him next. I see myself doing this for quite a while, to be honest. Just being able to make a career out of what you actually like doing, nothing can really beat that. Guys, Devin flies to Atlanta to begin the season in just about a month. He says the tournament earnings, mm -hmm. esports salaries can reach, reach well into six figures. Uh, so if you guys get tired of being on the desk anytime you want to, uh, we can go and play 2K. We're not, we might not be good enough to play it for a living, but standing by at the wall is a guy who might be able to. Jonah? Nope, uh, Julian beat me, as he said. I think I paid him 10 bucks for beating me. Uh, let's just get to the top five plays, because I don't want to talk about this anymore. He's bringing back bad memories. Starting at number five, Troy Haynes of Woodbridge. If we're talking about 2K, he has to have the three-point specialist badge, right? He had five threes as he knocked down the three before the halftime buzzer. And then number four, the Milford Bucks. They get their first win against Woodbridge in three years as Terrell Gibbs, the fancy and one. They're making a push for that Henlopen South title. Number three, the college ranks Gary Burdell, former Stephen Decatur star, showing out at Salisbury University, averaging 24 and a half points in his last two games, shooting 62% from three. And then talking about from distance, Jaden Baker, really far away. Another long three to add on to his 1,000 career point mark. And number one, Denasia Roberts doubling that. Look at that. Her 2,000th point, nine seconds in. Congrats to Denasia, the first in Washington High history to do that. All right, coming up after the break, we're going to preview the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, which again has some Eastern Shore ties. That next on DSI.